What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Backyard Barbecuing. I'm your backyard grilling enthusiast, Anthony, and we're gonna be cooking this today. A two and a half inch cowboy steak. So before cooking any steak, one of the more important things to do is to salt the steak, uh, whether it be with kosher salt or regular table salt. Salt's gonna draw moisture from the steak and then it's going to, using reverse osmosis, it's going to reabsorb back into the steak. So for a steak this size, go ahead and season it up pretty good. It won't be too salty, so go ahead and be liberal with the, uh, with the salt. So we're gonna go ahead and salt this thing up. And again, after we're done salting it up, we're gonna throw it back into the fridge uh, on a wire rack, just so air can get all around it. And what we'll end up with is a nice flavored steak all the way through. Go ahead and flip it over and hit the other side with it. Can't forget about the edges. So with our steak back in the fridge uncovered, uh, I'm gonna leave it in there about an hour. If you have longer, I would definitely let that set longer, but we're gonna cook this steak in about an hour. So it's been about two hours since I salted that steak and stuck it in the fridge. I took it out about an hour ago and left it on the countertop uh, to come up to room temperature. Don't cook a steak that's coming directly out of the fridge. You'll end up with an unevenly cooked steak. Uh, today I'm gonna cook this steak on the Weber grill to get it done fast and easy. All right, let's get to it. Go ahead and throw on a couple of chunks of some mesquite wood on there. See if we can get some smoky flavor on our steak. We're gonna cook this steak reverse sear. We're gonna indirectly cook it, bone facing towards the fire because it can take the brunt of the hit. And as you can see, I've already added some coarse black pepper. Once you've got your steak on the grill, don't walk away from it. Kick back, have a beer. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and probe this thing. So I'm looking for about 90 degrees before I can go ahead and sear this thing off. Not quite there yet. Dead center, we're looking about 69, maybe 70. Let's let it keep going. All right, so I think we're probing pretty close to uh, our target temperature of about 90 degrees. Uh, we're seeing about 84 there, closer to the bone where the heat is. We're pretty hot. So I don't want to overcook this thing. So let's go ahead and throw it over direct fire. All right, I've left the lid off to get this fire nice and nice and hot. And let's go ahead and throw it directly on there. So as you can see, the fat is starting to render off and we're getting a flare up. Don't worry about it, just move it away. All right, so this thing's about done, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it off. Now it's time to let this thing rest for about 10, maybe 15 minutes, and then we'll cut into it. All right, so this thing took about three beers long to cook. Let's go ahead and cut into it and see what we got. I'm gonna take this bone off first. Have that as a little snack for later. And I'd like to take off this little cap here. Alright, let's slice into it. Oh, we gotta get a piece to try this thing out. Mmm. Nicely juicy and smoky. Mm. You guys have got to try that out. The meat seasoned real nicely with the salt. Mmm. I'm going to enjoy this for dinner. 
Nice medium rare, close to the rare side, just how I like it. You guys gotta give this a try. Let's try another piece. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's take a bite out of that bone. Mm. Gosh, medium, medium rare, way to go. If you're cooking your steak, well done, well. Just get, don't even subscribe, get off the channel. Mm. 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 Oh, that's good. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you liked what you saw here, like, subscribe, help grow the channel. All right, until next time.